ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 Map Spotlight. Um, quick disclosure, I know I said I wouldn't do any Bjorn Home or Westbridge Hills edits. I know that. I'm sticking with that. There's a reason I'm doing this map. This is called the Aussie Map. And I have uh, renamed it in the file. I've renamed the, the zip... Well, I've named the zip file I had to create because it was mispackaged um, as Ozzy is not a very good map maker. I was glad I did that when I saw the log. That I'll come to that later. Um, this is a Bjorn home edit and um, I am finding it hard to believe I'm doing this video, to be honest. Um, I know I said I wouldn't do Bjorn home edits, but... Uh, this one's so badly done, I have to show you guys and tell you not to download this map under any circumstances. Um, you can see that there's apparently eight fields on the map. No. And I'm starting by the grain elevator, which... Okay, that, that must be it there. I think what happened was... What happened here was... Um, He's gone and taken the middle of the map, put giant mountains around it, and said, Hey, there's my map. He never changed the PDA, so I have no idea where anything is. Uh, that works, at least. That's a nice little detail. Uh, by the way, you probably spotted that the solar panels on that roof are glitching through. Um, I know that normally I like going through the starter vehicles on maps and criticizing them. Thank you, Road, for... Stop Dancing Road. Uh, again, minor issue. We'll get to the more major ones later. Um, I like going through the starter vehicles on maps and giving my opinions on them. I can't on this map. They're, mis <laughs> they're misaligned and dancing. Well done. Um, again, that's caused by overlapping textures, which in this case are completely unnecessary. Normally I like to go through starter vehicles and uh, give my opinions. More overlapping textures, by the way. I can't. There are no starter vehicles on this map. You have to edit the XML file straight away to get vehicles if you want to start off with them, or take out the $200,000 loan and start off with next to nothing. Um, the log file is actually one of the worst ones I've seen. Oh, well done. Here's somebody who clearly couldn't be bothered to edit the model, so he just put put it straight in. Oh dear. Um, this is apparently the grain elevator over here. The cell point is somewhere, probably. Um, I would genuinely advise you not to get this map unless it's a V3, because this is version 2. And I dread to think what version 1 was like, if this is an improved version. Oh, this must be the entrance to the cell point. Does this work? Yes, it does. And... Oh, come on. Oh, that's just silly. Yes, there are two railway lines here. One within the boundaries of this thing, kind of, because it's at a weird angle. And the other is just completely ignoring it and after being built through concrete, apparently. Or the concrete had two random ruts <sighs> done through it. This is the... Oh, this is the freight chart from 2013. Okay. Um, some nice details here. Uh, crates of... Beer. Of, co of course it's beer. Why wouldn't it be beer? Wheat, hops, and water. This is obviously a brewery from some mod in 2013 that doesn't work. Um, I would presume. Uh, needless to say, this mod is not. This map is not staying in my mods folder. It is. I have a feeling it's a ticking time bomb of, of disasters. Um, just from what I've seen in the log file and what I've seen so far. So that's the shop, which isn't marked on the map. There's the, apparently the, good lord, the, there are two grain elevators on the map. Good. 
So there's one of the grain elevators apparently. Here's an unmarked road with glitching textures. Let's go down and find more glitching textures. And the other grain elevator, which is apparently over here somewhere. Um, this looks to be a BGA maybe. In in here. Uh, biogas plant, yes. So this is the BGA. It is huge. And where are the silage clamps? Looks like the cows are here too. Okay. Here's the silage clamps. Is this one full? Does this one start full? Yes. So, at the beginning you get a full silage bunker, so I suppose get a tractor and front loader with your $200,000 loan. Does that work? Yes! I had to blanket it to get the uh, drift mobile off. So get a, a tractor and front loader with your $150,000 loan at least. 50 at poor, at, uh, at well, 150 at most, 50 at least. Um, silage, mixed rations. I have no idea what that is. Um, unfortunately, I can't tell you much about what the map maker says because he's Dutch. He does claim it is not the final version of the map, um, and I would sincerely hope so because, from what I've seen, this is going to need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. There's what I can only presume are once pigs, random sheds over here, in field 2 apparently. Um, oh, the fields are actually... Oh, maybe there are only seven, 8 fields on the map. But, oh good lord, that's horrible. Not even going to look over there. Oh, they've, it's got triggers on these doors, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm not going to bother looking for what the... Magical floating fill plane, apparently. So I'm guessing that's storage. And I'm guessing this one over here also has a magical floating fill plane. Does it have a magical floating fill plane? No, it's got bales. Okay. Hang on. This one and that one have... Both have... Um, Okay, so that's... Whoa, 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 whoa. This one is... Potatoes on the glass... The apparently glass um, conveyor belt. Well done for forgetting that texture. And on the conveyor belt over here, which is also glass, is sugar beet. Hmm. Still got no idea what this is. I think it might be chaff. Again, invisible and variable belts all around. Um, very little care given to textures, from what I can make out. Um, and from what I've seen in the log. Again, please remember, no starter vehicles on this map. Uh, deal with it, apparently, is the uh, order of the day. Uh, biogas plant is there. I really don't want to look at this map much more. Um, I'm got, I've got lost because there's uh, what on earth is this thing? This is a wood chip storage maybe? And uh, uh, Oh, I almost got trapped in it because there's very little collisions in there. <sighs> oh dear. I was going to look at another map, but then I realised it was another Bjornholm edit, and, uh... Well, from what I could see, there weren't as many problems with it. This one I, I just found so many problems with so quickly that... I kind of have to... I had to make this video to just... And I hate being negative about... Things... The freight yard's apparently down here somewhere. Maybe that was the freight... That was the freight yard I fell into. Or is that it? It's almost impossible to tell. I think that's the freight yard. There's another still point over here to the left. Um, oh yes, there is a forestry area for no reason whatsoever. Um, no co oh my god. More glitching textures. Brilliant. Um, excuse me, I need to sneeze. I'm allergic to how bad this map is. Okay, maybe, maybe I didn't need to sneeze, but 
I do feel like I need to, and it just makes me feel like I'm allergic to this map, which I may well be. So there's something over there. There's things over there. A semi-working water. What the? I have never seen somebody manage to glitch the water texture before. Normally that's a st static water plane. And it's impossible. Oh, that's impressive. I am impressed with that. I've seen missing water textures. Yes, that's something that happens a surprising amount. It's half expected. There's a thing there. Apparently that's also the grain elevator. So good luck if you... Well, good luck if you decide to play this map in the first place. Um, good luck if you want to figure out what any of the cell points are. Seeds and um, fertilizer there. You can buy your saplings there. We'll get back to this garden center in a little while. Um, I've got some more things to say about it. Um, a thing there that's apparently biomass heating plant. I doubt it. And that's essentially the entire map. Another giant forestry area here for no reason whatsoever and with no context. Um, I'm going to just press the pause menu. Hello, uh, something. My... This is a test version. I'd hope so. I'm trying to translate Dutch, which might be wrong. This is a test version of my first map Aussie Farm for Farming Simulator of 2015. This map is not the definitive version. Something about everything working. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I hope this isn't the, the final version. Or the definitive version or whatever way you want to phrase it. And I hope whoever made it I'm not going to figure out a name, I've just called it Ozzy. I've made it Ozzy because the map is called Ozzy. Um, I hope they learn, number one, how to um, edit maps properly. I mean, this... Eh, I suppose you might see something like this in reality, but... Oh, the Driftmobile is stuck. You'll notice that I got $78,000, essentially. A euros. Um, that's that's just because I wanted to make sure that if the driftmobile got stuck, I wouldn't have to be taking out a loan on camera. Um, but yeah, I I would not recommend this map in its current version. Um, if the map maker contacts me and says, "Hey, uh, I've got new versions out. Would you please, you know, have a look at them instead?" I, if, I will. If if you're a map maker and I look at your map and say, hey, look, this is crap, don't, you know, if I, I recommend people don't get it and you're the map maker and you, you know, fix the things that are clearly wrong with it, tell me. And I will make a new video for your map. But as, as things stand, um, the Aussie map is thoroughly thoroughly re not recommended. I mean, I'm just going to go over here and have a look at and, and sh just show this. I mean, here's normal textures, normal textures, normal textures, and then suddenly a wall of mountain. A wall of clearly painted on mountain that you can... Oh, you, it does have a collision. But yeah. <sighs> not a good map. And the scenery texture there is just completely overbearing and looks like it's hovering threateningly over the entire map, which that really shouldn't be happening. Um, if you want to hide the scenery, you actually put hills in front of it, so it doesn't look like it's hovering threateningly over the entire map. Also, there's an error over there in the distance. If you just look at the center of the screen there, um, there's an error over there. You can pretty much see through the, the uh, background scenery. Um, yeah, I'm going to pause the game and bring up, if I can remember, my key binding for, I think it's F4, not F2. Bring up the log and straight away, performance error. Garden center has uh, raw textures. And if I go back over here, there's another error here. 
this this one here is also the garden center has raw textures all of these are outdated shaders and failed XML files because it references the Stiffy map, which I know is a relatively minor edit of Bjornholm. Um, map makers, if you're going to take things from a map, from other maps, you actually have to have them in your own map file. You can't just say, you know, you can't just reference the map you've taken it from because it, w it, the, it will fail to load. Now, I'm not a map maker at the moment. I might be in the future. Um, but even I know that you actually need to get your, your files into your own map folder um, as well. Oh, what's this? Compatibility texture. Uh, Alpenhof texture. Oh, come on. Width or height does not equal 2 to the N. A lot of outdated custom shaders. And this this is where the fun begins right here. For just I'm just going to very slowly bring it down and all of this all of this is Lua errors. All of it. Index out of range, every single one of them. And oh wait, now there was something different here. Where is it? Set visibility is nil. Oh that oh no, that's an out of range error. But it's all, 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 all Lua errors. Oat Windrow has invalid fill type because Oat isn't a thing yet. Dinkle is not a thing yet. Uh, Rai is not a thing yet. This looks like it was a map made for late 2013 that was rushed and badly converted into 2015. And I'm just scrolling down so that you can see all of the errors. And I'll just scroll back up because this is... You know, this is insanity, the amount of errors in this map. The check map was bad and blue, but... When you have errors that actually require this much scrolling, and I want to just check... Uh, I can't edit the scene to that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this in and hopefully... Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's glitchy. <laughs> Just gonna bring this here. Now you can see that I am scrolling quite a lot to get through all these errors. Quite a lot. It is insanity the amount of errors. Like if they start up here and then way down here, you've got too many errors. I think one error is too many, unless it's a a script issue caused by something else. That's kind of okay, but having these. This amount of errors, I think, that uh, I unintentionally named the zip file I had to create, which, again, shouldn't be a thing. I think I named that correctly. Ozzy, whoever made this map, isn't very good. And they might get better. I mean, I'm not saying, oh, a, a bad map maker is always going to be bad. I mean, <laughs> you can improve. Ozzy, whoever made this map is clearly inexperienced and um, should practice more before and get more experience and find tutorials and learn things and iterate on this map and fix the problems and get rid of the references to um, multifruits. They're not a thing yet. When they are a thing, you can bring, it, bring them back in quite easily. But referencing things from another map is not something you should do as a map maker. Um, I don't think whoever made this map actually looked at the log and found the problems and just kind of released it as Hey, mod hoster, do you want to help me fix my problems that I don't know about because I haven't really bothered looking at the log? That's not... That's not what you do. You give it to friends. You don't just pop it on mod hoster and say Hey, this map isn't finished. Tell me what's wrong because I haven't looked at the log. Or package the map right. Or giving you starter vehicles. Or made sure it wasn't referencing a map that you might not have. Or even checked if there were a lot of overlapping textures. 
in Giants Editor, which you can do, um, or very, or even edited some models so that they would fit the, fit the map, or the map would fit them. Because those railway lines should not be a thing, and I am still in the log, by the way. I haven't gone back to the game. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Please, please, please do not download the map. I will have a link in the description if you want to have a look at this car, cr car crash for yourself. I wouldn't advise playing on it seriously, because you will ke just keep getting lost with the map not working. <laughs> Um, this has been your Farming Simulator 15 map spotlight on the Aussie is not a very good map maker map. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching. My name has been Rainbow Dave. Please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have made this map and you want to contact me, feel free. Um, I've nothing person. I've no personal problems with you. If you have personal problems with me, that's your issue. Um, I'm just saying you need to fix the log errors and learn to figure out what they mean and I'm gonna possibly try and learn that as well so that I can give better advice in the future and um, thank you very much once again for watching I will see you next time where when we will be in a different map in a different place possibly in a different country and hopefully with no logo vision goodbye <laughs>